What's up, fellow Impact Wrestling fans? It is your boy, BQ, and this is the Impact Lounge. The goal is 4,000 subscribers by the Redemption pay-per-view. So if it's your first time, please hit the subscribe button. Lots of really good things happening here on the channel. The last couple days, I've been talking Impact Wrestling Crossroads that we got this week. Talked OVE versus Lashley and Eddie Edwards, which has now been turned to OVE versus Lashley. So that makes a lot of sense. As I was reviewing the match halfway through, I'm kind of wondering, wait, Eddie was cleared to wrestle? So makes sense. Me personally, I don't think it's going to be a handicap match. If I had to make a guess, I think Moose is going to be the mystery partner. Just like the last two days, I do want to apologize. The comments are disabled for this to prevent, uh, prevent anyone from posting any kind of spoilers about these matches. So, talked that match and talked Matt Seidel versus Ishimori. Next match on the menu is the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championship. It is LAX versus the Cult of Lee, Trevor Lee and Caleb Conley. So, they've had one match so far. And I loved it. I, loved, I really love what they're doing even with the backstage stuff. All the way back to... I mean, well, I should I should say this. I didn't like the very beginning when they like randomly attacked him because it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me other than, you know, they're coming for the tag team titles. But just to do it so quickly upon uh, forming as a team, I really wasn't big on that. I would have liked to see Cult of Lee, uh, I don't know, get some wins because they had teamed up several times, mainly in six-man formats, and, and they always lost. And that's the way I've talked about this before, that the X Division works. The heels lose every single time, unless there's a title on the line. It's it's their way of, you know, because X Division usually kicks off the show. And you want the people to start off happy. So whether it's Matt Seidel or Petey Williams or Desmond Xavier, whatever, you know, Sanjay, they always leave the winner. And Caleb Conley's taken a whole lot of falls. So I feel like they needed to build this tag team up just a little bit better before putting them in this feud, but that's not the way it was. We don't really have tag teams to work with. Uh, they easily could have done something with the Mumbai cats as much as they're always messing with those guys. Uh, could have been kind of funny. They had one squash match as a tag team, but the other team got in a lot of offense. But with that being said, these guys did get a non title victory over LAX. I thought the match was excellent. And, and for a tag team match, it had some of the most innovative offense from both sides that I think we've seen in a while. So I think this was a match that was really slept on. Cult of Lee got the win, and that's where we're at with Crossroads. So they get a, get a shot at the tag team championships. LAX just retained, I shouldn't say retained, but regained these titles. So I don't see them dropping them right away. I think uh, the smart thing is for LAX to go into the pay-per-view as the champions because they didn't go, do they? They, uh, yeah, they didn't go into Bound for Glory as the champions. They were the challengers. They had lost it, lost it previous. Had a really good feud with OBE, Barbed Wire Massacre and all that. So coming off of that feud and coming off Barbed Wire Massacre 3, I don't really see them, um, you know, taking on Cult of Lee here and, and losing. There's, there's just no way. Um, I had no problem with... You know, the, the Cult of Lee cheating to win the first time. I'm not I'm not a big fan of champions losing, but, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do with this current state of the tag team division. And the segment they did last week on Impact where they were throwing the little party and the Mumbai Cats came and it was really LAX. I thought that was a good, uh, good segment. It, maybe a little too much comedy. Like, I like that it was funny. Uh, and, and, you know, when they're going to throw them in the pool, I thought it was funny the first time when I think it was Trevor said I can't swim, but then he said it like three or four times and it kind of kind of lost its steam. But this has the potential to be a really excellent match, and I think it's going to be. Who's going to win this thing? I 100% am confident in saying that I think LAX is going to win this one. I don't see a scenario where Trevor Lee and Caleb Conley are the champions already. I think they're going to make great champions down the line and it's kind of unfortunate that right upon um, meshing together as a team that they're probably going to take a loss and you know got this title match so early 
but I, I guess that's just wrestling these days. Um, hopefully they're able to continue something with these guys if they do happen to lose, which I think they will. Hopefully they're able to continue something, and then we'll see what's next with LAX. Diamante's supposed to be back next tapings. That's what Conan said when I asked him on the teleconference. Homicide hasn't been around a whole lot lately. Heard some rumors about him possibly being disgruntled. I don't know um, how true that is. So I guess we're going to see next tapings if he shows up. Hopefully he does. But this uh, this match right here really has some potential. This one and the X Division match have uh, they both have a lot of potential to be match of the night. But really the main event does too. So this this should be the best night of wrestling for Impact for the year as i say for the year we're in march but you know the year thus far this should be an excellent excellent show and this tag team match i think uh can be a real show stealer but uh see lax standing tall in the end thanks for listening folks hit that subscribe button talk to you soon peace